The sixth graders of Evergreen Middle School, located in the town of Metamora in Fulton County, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of our edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Evergreen Middle School. Our school is located in the town of Matamora in Fulton County. Matamora was founded in 1893 and has a population of 543. It's obvious to say that there are hundreds of farm operations in Northwest Ohio. They grow a variety of crops and raise many kinds of animals and poultry. However, one farm breeds a bird of an altogether different feather. Kayla Lydell reports. Hi, I'm Kayla Lidl. What bird in Northwest Ohio can't fly but is bigger than a chicken? An ostrich, of course. Mike Zabo and his wife Lois own and operate the Red Barn Ostrich Farm near Swanton. I like working with the ostriches because they are friendly after a while, especially the small ones, and they follow you around and they're just kind of fun to be around and they're, they're unique, they're a different animal. We got into raising ostriches because we had a big red empty barn and uh, there was no animals in it and we wanted to do something different. All the products made from an ostrich are uh, all kinds of meat products, steaks and burgers and snack sticks and the leather is used for all kinds of leather products. The feathers are used for feather dusters, eyelashes are used in expensive paint brushes and uh, they can use parts of their eyes that are experimenting with the humans because they're so like our eyes. Astra's meat doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes very similar to beef except it's very low fat. You have only three grams of fat for a quarter pound. So if you're a heart patient and can't eat beef because of the fat and cholesterol, you can eat the ostrich meat. Ostrich eggs are humongous. After the ostrich legs, the eggs, we pick them up, usually in the evening. Then we take and uh, they're cleaned up and stored for three to five days before they go in the incubator then. Ostriches are amusing birds. Well, we had one two years ago that when I walked up to it, it kept taking my bald head like an egg under its beak and kept rubbing it and kind of trying to roll my head. This is Kayla Lidl reporting for News 6. If there's one thing we know about dogs, it's that they're really, really loyal. Canines have been known to risk their lives for those of their human masters. Rachel Saylor has found a place where dogs carry on this tradition. Hello, I'm Rachel Saylor. The Assistance Dogs of America are a disabled person's best friend. Marilyn Lazarus trains dogs for Assistant Dogs of America Incorporated in Swanton. Assistance Dogs of America trains dogs for people who are physically impaired. People use the dogs anything from being their best friend to picking up keys or a wallet that they drop, opening the refrigerator, helping take off uh, gloves or coat. We look for dogs that are very happy, they're friendly, they're outgoing, and they're not afraid of anything. We do a visual examination. I run my hands over the dog, then the dog goes to our program veterinarian. He checks out the hips. If the hips are healthy, then we give it shots and we spay or neuter it. Part of its training, a dog lives with a foster family. The dog needs to live with the foster family to get manners, and the foster family brings him to us for training. So he gets a good foundation and basic obedience, and he learns to be well behaved. Then they live here for approximately three months, and we work with them every day. 
Marilyn never yells at her dogs. When a dog does something wrong, I tell him no, and sometimes I give him a leash correction, and then I tell him what he's supposed to do, and then I praise him for it. When a dog does something right during training, I have a beep sound, and that lets the dog know that what he did was correct, and then after the beep sound, I give him a treat. This is Rachel Salo, reporting for News 6. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you travel? Hawaii. Egypt. France. Colorado. Alaska. Australia. This is our school, where the future is inside. This is our office, where our secretary is hard at work. This is our computer lab, where we research on the internet and publish our reports. This is our library, where we can study or read a good book. This is our trophy case, where we display our achievements. This is our gym, where our volleyball and basketball team plays. That's a quick look at our school. We sixth graders work hard during the school year. After a week of lessons with teachers and evenings of homework, we're ready to relax and unwind. Reporter Amy Kovar knows where to go for our favorite food that includes tomatoes, sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Hi. My name is Amy Kovar. There's one place in Lyons where everyone goes to have great food and a good time. Pizza. It's the Pizza Pit, of course. It's owned and operated by Jerry and Donna Moyer. We came up with the name of Pizza Pit from racing theme. There's a racetrack close nearby called Oak Shade Raceway, and um, there's a lot that race people in the community. The Pizza Pit has a tasty menu. The other things we have to eat are pizza bagels, pizza boat, pizza sub. We even have a chicken pizza. The toppings we have are pepperoni, pineapple, sausage, bacon. The Moyers do something special to show their community support. The tree in the corner, it was just a Christmas tree we put up last Christmas, and my wife decided that we uh, wasn't going to take it down, and so I just came up with the name Evergreen Tree for Evergreen School. This is Amy Kovar for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. See ya. The sixth graders of Evergreen Middle School, located in the town of Metamora in Fulton County, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of our edition of News 6.